what is up guys i'm gonna do another video where i kind of showcase what autographs i have um i did a video before about all the dvd covers and blu-ray covers that i have signed or and a few video game covers but this is going to be what's in my bat book although there's more than just batman signatures in here that's kind of primarily what it is i been mean to get a little bat symbol for the front of this because i think that'll make it look cooler but this is kind of new i've only been collecting the quote-unquote bat book for about mm, four or five months but I got a few great ones, so I might as well show it to you guys. Open it up, and on the front page, we have Matthew Valencia, who voiced Robin slash Tim Drake in the new Batman Adventures. It's your kind of show, puke face. A double feature. Of all the types of Batman media out there, the movies, the TV shows, this is definitely my favorite. Um, the, the Batman the Animated Series, and although this isn't really necessarily Batman the Animated Series, it's the sequel show to it. It's in the same universe. It's when they changed all the character models because they were, I think, merging it with the Superman show. I'm not exactly sure, but I just know a lot of the models got changed. And he wrote, To Cameron, It's Hero Time. Peace, love, Matthew Valencia, Robin, slash Tim Drake. And I think his signature looks really cool on this. Uh, he's got a funky-looking signature, and you guys know I love funky-looking signatures. And I was really happy to get this. Speaking of funky-looking signatures, this is Clive Revel, also from Batman the Animated Series. I know your father will be proud of you, because I'm so proud of you. Clive Revel voiced Alfred in, uh, I think, the first three episodes. I, I know it was only three episodes, and I think it was the first three, before being recast by Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. Uh, I don't know why they recast him, but I think Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. and Clive Revel do an equal job, so maybe it was scheduling conflicts or something. Uh, he just wrote to Cameron and then signed Clive Revel, and I got this one back uh, really soon after I sent it out, so I was happy to get this one. On the next page, we have... Adrian Barbeau as Catwoman. What this situation needs is a woman's touch. As I'm sure a lot of you guys are noticing by now, uh, a lot of my Batman signatures are from the animated series, but that's not bad, right? Animated series was awesome. Uh, she wrote for Cameron, Meow, Adrian Barbeau. And I know she does conventions, but I've never met her at a con. However, if she did do one that I was going to, I'd bring her a poster of The Fog because that movie is also really awesome. I'm a big uh, John Carpenter fan as well as a... Batman fan, so that'd be awesome. Next up is Allison LaPlaca as Baby Doll. Why couldn't you just let me make believe? She just signed right there, and the character of Baby Doll was in two episodes, if you count um, the new adventures as part of the animated series. Um, even though she was recast in the episode Love is a Croc. Uh, this one's from the original episode just called Baby Doll, and if you've seen it, it's a really haunting and kind of depressing episode. I won't spoil the ending for you, but I remember when I was a kid and I watched it, I started crying because it's really sad. It's, it's The thing I love about Batman the Animated Series is that it's a kid's show, but it's a really dark show too, and I've been watching it ever since I was a kid, and I don't think I'm ever going to grow out of it. Next up is Dana Delaney from the movie Mask of the Phantasm. No. One way or another, it ends tonight. Goodbye, my love. I only recently watched this movie, maybe uh, like a year ago, because I remember thinking, all right, it's a Batman the Animated Series movie. It's probably going to feel like just a dragged out episode. But I, I really liked it, and it's actually my favorite Batman movie ever. And I know that's kind of edgy to say when there's such masterpieces like The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises out there. But I really liked it. Uh, it's a really good backstory for Batman, too, kind of how he became Batman. Uh, but anyway, she wrote for Cameron, always Dana Delaney. Uh, she played Andrea, also known as Phantasm. And I really, really liked this movie, so I was really happy to get her back. And yeah. And then next up is Stuart Pankin. You, the dynamic Dark Knight, versus me, the conceptual Condiment King. Stuart Pankin voiced a character called the Condiment King, and he only appeared in one episode of the show, and he was only in the episode for like five minutes, but the character was really awesome, and I'm kind of bummed we never got to see more of him. He wrote Cameron Best Stuart Pankin. This was one of my favorite episodes. I think he was in the episode Make Him Laugh, and that was where the Joker took a bunch of comedians and kind of brainwashed them and made them really dumb villains. 
but he also wrote on the back of this, which I thought was cool. So he, I kind of got two signatures from him technically, so I was really happy with that. Next up is Michael York. Then I will finish you both myself. Michael York voiced Count Vertigo in the show, and he was only in one episode, but I think the episode, again, is another memorable episode. I feel like with villains, it's better to be in one memorable episode instead of a bunch of eh episodes. But he just signed, and the marker was kind of dying out, but I'm not complaining because you can still see it. And the episode he was in was called Vertigo, and it was also the first appearance of Talia, I believe. And Talia is a big part of it, this show. So, the more you know. Next up is Alan Rachins. Hold it! Well, well. The Batman. It's about time you showed up. I don't know if it's Alan Rachins or Ratchin. No, Ratchin sounds better. All right, Alan Rachins. That's the guy who signed this. He was also in L.A. Law. Uh, which is a show that my parents are a really big fan of, so I was really happy to get him back. Uh, he wrote Cameron, thanks for your appreciation of the Clock King, Alan Rachins. And he was in a, quite a few episodes, actually, and I thought that it was kind of uh, always fun when he was there. He always had those time puns, so you can't really complain about that. Next, moving out of Batman the Animated Series, is Robert Wool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Living room? Tiny room, arsenal. Get this stuff. Who is this guy? Robert Wool played Alexander Knox in Batman, the Tim Burton one. And I'm going to say something a little controversial here, but I've always loved the Tim Burton franchise more than the Nolan franchise. Um, I know maybe Batman and Robin <laughs> isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I always saw Batman as a comic book character. And the best interpretation of the comic book character, I think, was the Tim Burton franchise because it felt the most comic booky. I felt uh, the Nolan franchise was a little too dark and serious, although Batman is a dark and serious villain. If people said you're an idiot, I disagree 100%. I wouldn't even argue because I love both so much. But he wrote to Cameron, good luck, and then signed Robert Wool. And yeah, I'm a really big fan of this movie. Last but certainly not least is Aaron Eckhart from the movie The Dark Knight. Aaron Eckhart played Two-Face, if you couldn't tell by, you know, his face being burnt into two of them. Um, and I think his performance is really good, but is often overshadowed by Heath Ledger's really just off-the-walls, insane performance. And I always kind of felt bad for him, but he wrote Cameron and then signed Aaron Eckhart, which is just looks like a bunch of squiggles, but I'm not going to complain because my signature is much better. And I was really surprised to get his back because he's really big and I'm sure he gets a lot. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's my Batman section of the Bat Book. I won't keep you guys for any longer. Thank you for watching and as always, take care.